Curious about how OCI Golden Gate works? You're in luck. In this video, you'll learn how to create an OCI Golden Gate data replication deployment, create and assign source and target connections, use Oracle Data Pump to export schema tables from the source database and import them into the target database, add and run an extract and replicate, and then perform inserts into the source database to monitor replication from source to target. Let's get started. After you log in to the Oracle Cloud Console, open the navigation menu, select Oracle Database, and then Golden Gate. On the Golden Gate Overview page, click Create Deployment. In the Create Deployment panel, enter a name and optionally a description. Select a compartment. Select Development or Testing. To configure your deployment, Select a subnet from the drop-down. Choose a license type, enter a Golden Gate instance name, and select a credential store. Click Create. After the deployment is active and running, take a moment to review the information on the Deployment Details page. Here, you can review the deployment status, Launch the Golden Gate Service Deployment Console, Launch Admin Client, Edit the deployment's name, description, or maintenance schedule, Start, Stop, or Scale the deployment, Move the deployment to a different compartment, Review the deployment resource information, Add tags, Access trail files, Enable process and error logs, and more. Now create the source connection to the Autonomous Transaction Processing Database. Use the breadcrumb to return to the Deployments page. In the Golden Gate menu, click Connections. On the Connections page, click Create Connection. The Connection panel opens. On the General Information page, enter a name. OCI Golden Gate provides connectivity to hundreds of data sources. Select Oracle Autonomous Database from the Type drop-down and then click Next. On the Connections Details page, choose an existing database, enter the database user's password, leave the default traffic routing method Shared Endpoint selected, and then click Create. Oracle Autonomous Databases have a GG Admin user that by default is locked. You must unlock this user before you can create any extracts or replicates. Open the navigation menu and navigate to Autonomous Transaction Processing, and then select the Source ATP instance. On the Source ATP instance details page, click Database Actions, and then select Database Users. On the Database Users page, locate GG Admin, and then select Edit from the GG Admin Actions menu. In the Edit User panel, enter the password you gave to the GG Admin user for the source connection. Deselect Account is Locked, and then click Apply Changes. The Edit User panel closes, and the GG Admin user icon changes from a padlock to a check mark. Next, use the SQL tool to enable supplemental logging. In the Database Actions navigation menu, select SQL. In the SQL tool, paste in the script to enable supplemental logging, and then click Run Statement. The script output pane displays a confirmation message. Clear the worksheet, then paste in the script to check Support Mode, and then click Run Statement. The script output displays a list of eight tables whose support mode is full. Now create the target connection. Back in the Oracle Cloud Console, navigate back to Golden Gate. Click Connections, and then click Create Connection. In the Create Connection panel, enter a name, select Oracle Autonomous Database from the Type drop-down, and then click Next. On the Connection Details page, select the existing Autonomous Data Warehouse instance, enter the database user's password, Leave Shared Endpoint as the default traffic routing method, and then click Create. Then, unlock the GG Admin user for the Target Autonomous Data Warehouse. 
Open the navigation menu and navigate to Autonomous Data Warehouse, and then select the Target ADW instance. On the Target ADW instance details page, click Database Actions, and then select Database Users. On the Database Users page, locate GG Admin, and then select Edit from the GG Admin Actions menu. In the Edit User panel, enter the password you gave the GG Admin user for the target connection, deselect Account is Locked, and then click Apply Changes. The Edit User panel closes, and the GG Admin user icon changes from a padlock to a check mark. To use the source and target connections, you must assign the connections to your deployment and enable connectivity from the Golden Gate service to the source and target databases. In the Oracle Cloud Console, navigate back to the Deployments page and then select the deployment. On the Deployment Details page, scroll down to the Resources menu and then select Assigned Connections. Click Assign Connection. In the Assign Connection dialog, select the source and target connections and then click Assign Connection. After the connections are assigned, launch the Golden Gate Deployment Console. On the Deployment Details page, click Launch Console. The Golden Gate Deployment Console is a unified interface for Golden Gate that includes the administration, distribution, receiver, and performance metric services. You can navigate to each service using the links at the top of the page. Each service has resources you can access using the left navigation pane. In the left navigation pane, click DB Connections. The source ATP and target ADW connections assigned to the deployment appear here. Click Source ATP. Before you add an extract, add transaction information. Click Source ATP and then Tran Data. On the Tran Data Information page, click the plus icon to add Tran Data. Enter the schema name SRC underscore OCI GGLL and then click Submit. To verify that the schema was added, enter SRC underscore OCI GGLL into the search field and then click Search. The search results return the SRC underscore OCI GGLL schema. Next, add a checkpoint table on the Target ADW database. In the left navigation, click Target ADW and then click Checkpoint. On the checkpoint page, Click the plus icon to add a checkpoint table. Enter the name of the checkpoint table and then click Submit. The checkpoint table refreshes and lists the newly added checkpoint table. Now you can create an extract. In the left navigation, click Extracts. On the Extracts page, click Add Extract. In the Add Extract panel that opens, select the Extract Type and then enter a name for the extract process. Click Next. On the Extract Options page, select the Source ATP Connection, enter the name of the extract trail file, and then click Next. On the Managed Options page, select Critical to Deployment Health, and then click Next. On the Parameter File page, Add additional configuration parameters and then click Create and Run. You return to the Extracts page where the extract process appears and its status changes to running after a few moments. Next, use Oracle Data Pump to export data from the source database. You'll need an object storage bucket and an OCI auth token to create a credential on the ATP database. In the Oracle Cloud Console, open the navigation menu select Storage, and then Buckets. On the Buckets page, click Create Bucket. In the Create Bucket panel, you can keep the default name or change it, and then click Create. The bucket appears in the Buckets list. In the Oracle Cloud Console Global Navigation bar, click Profile, and then select your username. On the User Details page, in the Resources menu, click Auth Tokens, and then Generate Token. In the Generate Token dialog, enter a description, and then click Create Token. Click Copy, and then Close. You can paste this token to a text editor. 
you'll use it to create the ATP credential. Back in the Source ATP SQL tool, create the credential using the Oracle Cloud username and auth token. Run the script. Then, create the export job using Oracle Data Pump EXP DP. Ensure that you replace the object storage URI with the URI of the bucket you created. Then run the script. When the job completes, you can check the DBMS output tab for confirmation that the job completed successfully. Now, import data using Oracle Data Pump IMPDP. First, create the credential on the target ADW database using the same Oracle Cloud user and auth token in the ADW SQL tool. Then, create the import data job using Oracle Data Pump IMPDP. Again, ensure that you replace the object storage URI with the URI of the bucket created earlier, then run the script. Check the DBMS output tab for confirmation that the job completed successfully. Next, add the replicate. In the OCI Golden Gate Deployment Console, in the left navigation, click Replicates. On the Replicates page, click Add Replicate. In the Add Replicate panel that opens, select the replicate type and then enter a name for the replicate process. Click Next. On the Replicate Options page, enter the name of the trail file, select the target ADW database, select the checkpoint table, and then click Next. On the Managed Options page, select Critical to Deployment Health, and then click Next. On the Parameter Files page, add additional configuration parameters, and then click Create and Run. The Replicates page updates with your newly created Replicate after a few moments, with the status running. With your extract and replicate setup, let's add some inserts on the source ATP database. In the source ATP SQL tool, add some inserts. In the OCI Golden Gate Deployment Console, in the left navigation, click Extracts, then select the Extract Process, then Statistics. Under Table Statistics, you'll see 10 inserts performed on the source ATP database. Now select Replicates, and then the Replicate process in the left navigation. Click Statistics, and observe that 10 inserts replicated to the target ADW database. You can also use the Performance Metric Service to review database statistics. In the left navigation, select Extracts, then the process name. You can then view the process performance, thread performance, database statistics, and other metric services. On the database statistics page, you can view the real-time database statistics such as inserts, updates, deletes, and so on. To view the Golden Gate metrics in the Oracle Cloud Console, in the navigation menu, select Observability and Management, then under Monitoring, select Metrics Explorer. On the Metrics Explorer page in the Query section, set the parameters such as the compartment, metric namespace, metric name, dimension name, and dimension value, then click Update Chart. The Metrics Explorer page updates to reflect your query. Try OCI Golden Gate today to get started with data replication. Learn more at oracle.com/cloud. Thanks for watching.